If your pet has a bleeding wound, you should always try and get it seen by a vet as soon as possible, particularly if the wound is um, deep or very dirty. If you have to clean it um, and dress it yourself, then this is how you would do it. First of all, wear gloves. And secondly, clean the, the wound. Uh, you might need to use um, curved scissors to actually trim some of the fur away from it so you can clean it properly. And you would clean it with either water or um, a veterinary antiseptic. You would then use a bit of um, gauze. This can be the same as the gauze you get in a human kit and you pop that over the top. And then you would ideally use some of this soft band to protect your dog's paw if you're going to bandage. And you would also use this to put between their claws, just to protect it when you're bandaging over the paw. You put it between the claws, you would then bandage over the top like that, and then bandage round. Um, show you quick, so you'd literally just do that, so that's cushioning it. Then on top of that, you would use a cohesive bandage and a, a human type cohesive bandage is fine for that. And again, you go from top to bottom and round, and then you finish it off with one of these tough old vet wraps. Um, these are absolutely great because um, pets sometimes try and chew the bandages off and these are that much tougher. They're made specifically um, for veterinary use. And again, on top of those layers, you would go from top to bottom and then you bandage all the way around. Make very sure that you're not putting it on too tightly and if the paw starts to swell at all, you need to take that bandage off. If the bandage becomes wet, you need to take it off and do it again as well because a, tight, a wet bandage will get tighter. And you must never leave a bandage on for more than 24 hours unless it has been properly applied by a vet or a veterinary nurse. Make sure that that wound is seen at a vet's as soon as possible.